So, Garden Warfare 2. We need to have a word. February 14th. Friday. This Friday. Four days away as of recording this, because it's currently the 11th. Give me the talk and like. About two hours. But yeah. Currently the 11th. When I'm recording this. The God of Warfare 2 February update is due out, due out at the end of this week. I.e. the first day I'm on my holiday. Which would be alright if I was here. For the whole day. I'm not. We need to have a word pop cap about something. I'm happy. Don't get me wrong right. This update is going to be amazing. Purely because Walmart Hills is coming back. I would have rather have seen like Main Street or something. But. Yeah, hell it's Walnut Hills. I don't care. So. Yeah. We're getting a new Mystery Portal event. We're getting Taco Bandits. Not as a permanent game mode. But as a. Limited game mode again. So that was happening. And then. There's something else that I've just seen in my sub box about five minutes ago. Now I'm pretty sure a couple of weeks ago I said, "Watch it. There's gonna be an, there's got to be another chomper and another imp because if you have all chompers, including unicorn, then you might notice that there is still half a." by double page, you know, missing. Meaning that, you know, they could bring in another character. I regret them words. Massively. Because I don't know how long ago this was announced. But we're getting another chomper. I don't have Unicorn myself, so I can't show you the like, half double page. But basically what it looks like is that page, just imagine Disco Chomper's not there. And sometime like the next week, this chomp is coming out. There is, there is a thing on the website saying that you need to do something between the 14th and 21st. However, I'm happy because apparently this chomper, which is known as Twilight Chomper, as far as I'm aware, doesn't affect your levels, which is good because I can tell you now. I mean, if you're gonna put another chomper in, I don't want to worry about levels. I got them all done. Yeah, no joke. Hey, you mean to tell me that this whole time I've been thinking that I still have more chompers to do and I only have one? Because it's cacti and sunflowers. I don't even think it's sunflowers actually. Characters I've got left to do. I think it's just like the whole cactus class. I say whole, whole like fire cactus, ice cactus, power. Actually, yeah, that would make pretty much common sense. And then like the whole of Yeti. Yeah, that makes much common sense. I'll probably say it's fifty-four, fifty-five. Yeah, apparently this uh, cactus that we're not cactus, idiot. Chomper we're getting. I'll read you the thing that's on the website. Like now. I don't have all that on my screen times. Uh, Twilight Chomper is here for a magical s a midnight snack. Uh, get ready to be bewitched by beauty, GWT fans. The dark magic prince of plants is here. And his name is Twilight Chomper. Sadly, not another rose or an imp. An enigmatic counterpart to the infamous Unicorn Chomper. You can earn this majestically beautiful, uh, mystical variant in-game February 14th through 20th. Be sure to check your in-game inbox for more details coming soon. Know that your Twilight Chomper will not affect... Know that Twilight Chomper will not affect your max rank. Thank God. Uh, are you one of the lucky plants who earned the extra rare unicorn chomp on God of War first release? Well, you're about to get even luckier because we're gifted, because we're gifting you Twilight Chomper when you log in February 28th. Every player will also have a chance to pick up this unusual unicorn 
plus amazing items inside the Midnight Snack Box upgrade. Available in Xbox, in the Xbox, PlayStation and Origin stores starting February 21st. Don't miss out the magic. As part of the update, we've also made improvements to capture the taco, which basically just says it's being Zen Peak, uh, Colosseum, Lunar Landing and Frontier Flats are being added. Uh, the, when tacos are in their home positions and area around them disables all abilities which I guess is pretty handy because the pea shooters were getting kind of annoying just using hyper which did get annoying out of bounds areas have been added to the team bases in the backyard battleground map oh no that means you can't camp in the back of the bases annoying Reduced speed buff duration from 3 seconds to 2 seconds. Adjusted coin payout to be in line with the other modes. Oh, yay. Uh, so, pretty much, we're getting this update on Friday, which I guess now... Or, I guess it's good. However, yeah. I would have rather have seen an imp first than a chomper. So, there's that to look forward to. I'm going to send this to my mate who's actually just started playing the game. I don't know why he's just started playing, because, I mean, hell, we could possibly be getting Garden Warfare 3 this year. I'm not going to suggest anything, but. There has been confirmation of Pop Kappa working on a new PvZ game. And it's for console and PC. So it's kind of... And apparently it's been confirmed it's a shooter. And apparently it's also been confirmed it's coming out later this year. So... You pretty much have all the green lights for... You know, GW3 this year. I was just sent him to my mind and said, read these. Why do I care about social media? Uh. Okay. Music requests. So yeah, I guess at this point it's more of a thing of yeah, it's looking dodgy again, to definitely say the least. Partly because it's gone more fair and it's getting another chomper. Not some I overly want. Yes. Very much one of them of... Meh. I'll have to see. We'll see. 